forgive myself. There is one thing I notice at work is I don't focus on work while I'm at work. I just try to do the minimum and I get, I distract myself, distract myself, meaning I find ways to avoid what's, what's on my plate. Instead of doing what's in my hand, I try to avoid it, I try to look for for other things, some way to distract myself. It's to stay focused and doing what is the top number one priority at work. If this assignment, task number one or task number two or task number three. So if task number one is the most uh, pressing point that I have to work on, get it done, but instead I will focus on task number ten. It's a way to avoid So I forgive myself that I accept law myself to avoid myself. I forgive me that I accept law myself to avoid looking at issues on my plate. I forgive myself, accept law myself to believe I can avoid issues on my plate. I forgive myself, accept law myself to uh, like avoiding things so that I don't have to look at things. Instead, look at something easy. I forgive myself that except long myself to avoid myself. I forgive me that except long myself to avoid doing things. I forgive myself that except long myself to want to avoid assignments or tasks on my plate. Instead of always looking for something fun to do. I forgive myself that except long myself to avoid tasks on my plate. Instead of paying attention to them equally, I try to avoid them. I try to sort them out in the order of likeness. Okay, this task I like the most, so let me go and do it first. And just, or oh, if there's a, at work I don't have, I mean every task is just an assignment to do, a job to do. So instead of focusing on them and getting all done equally, I look for an order of likeness and then I focus on what I like instead of what must be done now. It's a way of avoiding actually. And uh, the most difficult one or the one I like the least, I just put it off, put it off, put it off until it compounds and piles. I forgive myself that I accept long myself to not realize that I cannot put up, put off things that I'm supposed to do because they compound, they compound within my reality. I forgive myself, I accept long myself to put off things. I forgive myself, I accept long myself to put off things in the hope that they will disappear. The task itself will disappear. So I don't ever have to get back to that task. The specific task that I somehow don't want to look at or it's tedious or good example of this is I have not done my taxes for last two years in the US and last year in Canada. So basically I have I have three tax, tax returns, returns are waiting to be accomplished and submitted to the government and I have not attended within the simple belief that they are so difficult and tedious and uh, and uh, you know, 
boring to do. So I have been putting off and now compounding. I better get back to this taxes very soon. I forgive myself that I have accepted long myself to put off things. I forgive me that I have accepted long myself to deliberately put off things. I forgive myself that I have accepted long myself to postpone and put off things within the belief those assignments will, will be forgotten or those tasks will be forgotten. I do not ever have to get back to them. This is a delusional mindfuck. Like my income tax returns, they will. I I have to face them. Even if I put it off for ten years, the government will force me to come and redo them or submit them. And at that time, they might even ask me for a penalty. So I forgive myself. I accept permission to put off things that can be done today here. I forgive myself, except long I should postpone things and put off things. I forgive me that except long I should always want to do the, the fun thing first, while the difficult thing or the so-called boring thing piles up and compounds. I forgive me that except long I should categorize things as fun and boring. I forgive myself, except long I should exist within the polarity of fun and boring. I forgive me that except long I should believe that some things are more fun than others. I forgive me that except long I should always like fun stuff. I forgive me that except long I should categorize and define things as boring and some things as fun. I forgive me that except long I should Define some things as fun and other things as boring. Not realizing they all have to be done. They are all here. All assignments, tasks must be done. They are on my plate. And it is my responsibility to do it. Otherwise, they have consequences. Either in the form of paying a penalty or loss of job or so many other I forgive myself that except long myself to not pay attention and get the job done. I forgive me that except long myself to group things as fun and boring. I forgive myself except long myself to categorize things into polarity opposites. Though those are fun things to do, these are boring things to do. And in this, simply pay attention to fun stuff and the boring stuff pile up and they compound within my reality. I forgive myself, except long myself to not realize at work I'm supposed to work, not just look for fun stuff to do and just ignore the boring stuff and they compound within my work. So once I am done with the fun stuff, what do I do? Boring stuff still piles up. I, I, I have to attend to them, I have to get them done. So I forgive me that except long myself to categorize my job into two groups, fun stuff, fun assignments and boring assignments or easy assignments and difficult assignments. So when something is easy, I get it done. When something is difficult and boring, I just put it off and they come until they compound or the management get upset and they come and tell me, Anton, what is this? You have not finished that. And then with a long face, I will attend to it. It creates unhappiness for myself and for others. So all within the belief system that some things are fun and other things are boring. That is the polarity that I have exists within as within myself. So I forgive me that except long myself to exist as a polarity of liking and disliking, as fun and boring, as easy and difficult. I forgive myself that except long myself to exist within the polarity of liking and not liking. I forgive myself that except long I should believe and exist as a polarity of mind.
because the mind exists in polarity you see mind will justify something as fun and other thing as boring mind will always say well that assignment is fun but the other one is very boring i forgive myself except allow myself to group things as boring and fun i like it i don't like it i forgive myself that i have accept law myself exist in the polarity of my mind i forgive myself that i have accept law myself to group things into two extremes fun and boring like and don't like easy and difficult in this pole opposites i swing i am attentive to the fun stuff and i postpone the difficult stuff and allowing things to compound within my reality i forgive myself that except law myself to giving to the pole opposites of my mind i forgive myself except law myself to giving to the pole energetic opposites of my mind i forgive myself that i have accepted and allow myself to give in to the mind energy within my mind so basically when the mind says oh this is exciting i go rush with it when the mind says this is boring i go down with it i'm like a i'm like been pushed in a seesaw up and down up and down and my mind drags me up and down i forgive myself except allow myself to let myself be dragged by my mind and i allow it i forgive myself except allow myself to let myself be dragged within my mind and i participate within this i forgive myself that i have accept law myself to be drawn into the high and the low ends of mind polarities i forgive myself that i accept law myself to exist as a energetic poles of two ends of the two polarities two ends of the same polarity are why do i define things as fun and boring why do i define things as easy and difficult why do i define things as cool and uncool simply attend these assignments are on my plate i need i i have to just simply make a list things to do you know things today i am i have to achieve these are the things i must finish that's it just do it don't ask the question is it fun is it boring is it easy is it difficult no these are the 10 things i have to achieve today and simply attend to it other day i was watching a destiny video where uh, sunet is talking about achieve perfection in small things if you are typing a word be attentive while you type so the the key will be pressed so the you know even in that be present that is where you create practical perfection with it for self in small things perfection in small steps so in that there is no room for so called boring and uh, difficult no such categorization is possible the list of things is here simply do it apply yourself within the breath hmm today i have to try this today i have to go upstairs to the office and make a list of things to do what i am going to achieve today write them down and of course there is a order of priority some things have to be done you know in time and there's a priority order so attend to it apply myself don't ask the question is it fun is it easy is it cool no no such thing simply attend because all these things must be done they are within my reality right now they are sitting on my plate so i cannot put them off if i put them off they will compound so one corrective statement is i will not put things off i simply look at 
I will make a list of things to do on a day to day basis. Today, what is the thing? What is, the, what is my things to do list today? And I attend to it. I prioritize, prior, prioritize them and I attend to them. And in attending, I accomplish. There is no easy or difficult categorization. Of course, the mind will say, well, number one is more exciting than number three. So this is, this is my work today, simply to make a list and to attend to them and just do it, just do it. Don't give in to the mind's desire for liking and not liking, fun and boring. So always look for something fun to do. I forgive myself, except long I should always desire fun stuff to do. I forgive me that except long I should always want fun and easy things to do. I forgive myself, except long I should believe some things are more fun than others and therefore always want fun stuff to do. And if there is something difficult, I put it off. I forgive myself, I forgive myself, I stop my mind, I stop me from participating within my mind within the polarities of liking and not liking, within fun and boring. Instead I breathe, I am here. And I look at my list of things to do, and I do it. Achieving self-perfection in small steps, in small assignments, even within typing a key in my computer, even in that tiniest of steps, self-perfection must be achieved. And this is possible because everything happens in one breath. In this breath, I am talking. In this breath, I am typing. In this breath, I am working. So in that, if I am totally here, I can get it done. Yesterday, I was using my bank card and I was, while entering my PIN, my mind went somewhere. I start thinking about something and, and sure enough, I made a mistake and I missed hitting a few keys. That was funny. So even pressing a bank key pin number, you have to be here. Within that breath, you hit the key, so you get it done. Otherwise, it will compound. All right. Please join us at www.co.in.